okay hello everyone so in our last class we studied that in series in series circuit uh the current should be same that means the current four resistance r1 resistance r2 and resistance r3 will be same okay each and every point will show same current but for each and every point is having different voltage that is potential difference so for r1 it will be v1 it will be v2 and it will be v3 okay and for parallel connection okay for parallel connection voltage will be same okay that will be uh, same voltage for this entire pulse uh, current will be same so this is my resistance r1 this is r2 and this is r3 okay and all of them are having same voltage but there will be different current that is i1 i2 and i3 okay so in this case in the case of series okay i don't have to write i1 i2 or i3 for this i will write i only i and one i what will what will be the value i will get i will be same for each and every point each and every resistance okay and for here i don't have to write v1 v2 or v3 i have to write only v and that will be enough or fulfill value sufficient for each and every point okay so this is the circuits type of circuits now as we say this okay uh, we uh, have to find out so many uh, answers and we have to do so many numericals so basic uh, on the basis of these particular patterns series and parallel okay we are going to uh, identify some formula so right now i'm drawing the formulas of uh, series and that is your activity also this is your activity 12.5 from your textbook okay and in this textbook uh, it is asking me us to do that to do this okay there are uh, You can see one battery, two battery, three battery, and four batteries that are voltage. Okay, uh, so you know voltage is provided by battery. That means it maintains the potential difference. What is the potential difference? That the elect number of electron and pressure of electron should be high at this positive side, and the number and pressure of the electrons should be less at this negative terminal. Okay, that is the potential difference. Now, as we studied on our last class, that why voltage should be placed in parallel. So you can see that voltage. Uh, Uh, voltmeter is placed in parallel okay this is the voltmeter you can see v1 v2 v3 and these are present in parallel okay and this is a circuit which is known as this circuit is series actually okay we find out the series according to the num, uh, arrangement of resistance okay and here you can see the voltages are separate for sure okay and voltage should be arranged in parallel we studied this okay this is the there are four batteries okay and you can see the a meter which is in series okay now uh, we have to identify uh, the values and we have to do so many numericals so for this type of thing i have told you that for series this is the series series we will have to find out current which will be same throughout and there will be different voltages so how can we find out okay now in this type of case okay in this type of case particularly i'm drawing here so that i can okay that is for voltage and if i'm not writing voltage here okay then you can identify that uh, we are going to do with voltage take new slide Okay, I'm taking just two batteries. It doesn't matter how much volt batteries you are taking. Okay, that is my four A meter. A meter should be placed in series. Uh, or in series, either I'm using the uh series circuit which is having series connection, which is having parallel connection. I have to use this. Okay, and they are voltmeters. And if I'm not writing voltmeter, okay, it is very clear cut. I I told you in last class that voltmeter should be placed in parallel. Okay, now these are resistances R one. 
R2 and R3. And for these type of resistances, we have studied, we studied a rule that in series, voltage will be different. So there will be different type of voltage that is V1, V2 and V3. Okay, now if I have to find out the voltage, then uh, someone asked me to find out V. Okay, I have to find out V. My question asked me to find out V and my question asked me to find out I. Okay, so I will be same all over. Okay, and for V, I have to do something. What should I do that V mm. is different? That is V1 plus V2 plus V3. So if I join all the voltages, there will be a V. Okay, and if I'm doing with such a method, okay, I'm calculating three different voltages because I have to find out the total voltage. Then I have uh, whatever the value. Okay, I will uh, just... Uh, uh, join them okay so this type of uh, answer okay while whatever i'm getting okay definitely so this v particular this v this v i'm getting with uh, the various type of uh, voltages can be v4 okay how many resistance how many uh, depending uh, there can be so many resistances and the number of resistance defined uh, totally define that uh, what will be the uh, number of voltages okay so now this v is known as equivalent voltage equivalent voltage okay what is equivalent voltage equivalent voltage is uh, i'm getting this voltage by uh, joining to so many voltages v1 v2 v3 v4 okay or so many depending upon if i join one more resistance then it will be v4 okay uh, and uh, for i there will be no equivalent current here because I'm not going to join I1, I2, I3. Okay, the value will be same all over. According to our rule, the value of current will be same in series circuit. And we know that this is our series circuit. You can, you can see that is our series circuit. So uh, now uh, uh, there is two different type of formulas to identify uh, V, I, and R. There are two different type of formulas to identify specifically resistance. Okay, we are going to find out the resistance. Okay, so we are going to define the formula of resistance for both series in parallel. And if it is defined to that it is the circuit is series and circuit is parallel, then you have, or it is uh, in a photograph. Okay, there are photographs. It goes somewhere. I had, yeah. That is my photograph. that is my diagram yeah this is my diagram okay so the question will come like uh, this is a circuit okay and this is series so find out r and this is parallel and find out r okay so both series in parallel there are different formulas and we have to do different type of work to find out specifically r so now we are going to find out the formula to find resistance for a circuit which is known as series okay now one thing is very sure and uh, you know this and i know this that uh, generally v is equals to ir okay we know this now to identify the value of r or i'm i'm doing this with series okay i'm going to do i'm going going to find out r for series okay so you know that for series there are different type of v in series we can identify different type of v okay so uh, you know, for each and every point, we have to identify different type of V. So I'm writing V1, V2, V3. You can write so many. Okay, I'm just defining the formula. That is a derivation. Okay. So it will be I R1, I R2, and I R3. Okay, that is V is equals to I R. I'm writing the same thing. V is equals to I R. V is equals to I R and V is equals to I R. I'm writing same thing. I'm not doing nothing. Okay, now R1, R2 and R3. Okay, what is this thing come directly from here? Okay, you know R1 resistance is having V1 potential difference. R2 resistance is having V2 potential difference and R3 resistance is having V3 potential difference. And one thing that is I is same all over. Okay, I same for each and everything. We, uh, we know this. So same thing we are writing in our formula. Okay, that uh, for V1 that is I. So one IR1. So one thing which is common. Okay, you can see that there is no I1, I2 or I3 because we are doing this for series. Okay, now next thing. Uh, I have to identify uh, the value of uh, resistance. Okay, so I'm writing, I have to identify R. Okay, so I, uh, that is uh, I R1, I R2, and I R3. And if I'm writing this, I R1, 
sorry now what will be the value of ir okay if i just want to find out ir okay then i should okay it equivalent for both okay so i want to find out the r for this circuit which is known as series i want to find out only r okay okay i have to find out for only r okay so i am placing this ir okay and now i same all over okay but resistance is different so i am writing ir1 ir2 and ir3 okay ir3 okay now if i cancel out this i because the value of i is same all over okay what things will remain the remaining thing will be remaining thing will be i r1 r2 and r3 okay so this is how i can identify the resistance of series okay this is the formula okay first of all my basic aim was to find it identify that r okay i'm just going to identify the r and uh, i know that r is having different values and because uh, that's why b is also having different values for particular series okay now uh, uh, i just i just want to take out the value of r resistance and i have put these three formulas here and we know that i is same so i just cancelled out r and one thing is remain that is this so i'm writing this for series for series it is r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 whenever i need to find r okay i will go with this okay and i will tell you later on that this will also help us to identify v but we will be also in the form of v1 v2 and v3 okay and now this is known as equivalent equivalent resistance what is this equivalent what is the term equivalent okay the term equivalent derives if i have to find out i by using i1 i2 and i3 okay that is known as equivalent valent value of i okay if i have to find out v by using v1 v2 and v3 this is known as the equivalent value of v and if i have to find out r by using r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay this is known as the equivalent value of resistance okay equivalent means equal okay equal so in different type of circuits we have to do different type of work now i'm going for uh, this is my answer okay to find resistance for series and now i'm going to do with uh, parallel okay now parallel let's get back voltage will be same and current will be different okay it is just opposite with series okay so for parallel just draw a parallel voltage will be same okay and current will be different yeah that is my a meter and it will be different okay for these three i think i have to draw it bigger okay now this is my three resistances first r1 r2 and r3 okay and the current which is flowing okay and i'm using a voltmeter which is common for all of them because voltage is common okay so there will be v there will be v there will be v but one thing which is changing that is in this case it will be i1 in this case it will be i2 and in this case it will be i3 okay and if i'm uh, going to take out the value of i okay then i have to calculate the values of i1 plus i2 plus i3 and it will be dif different because i cannot uh, consider that if i'm having i then it will be equal for all of these resistances at all, all points okay but v is confirmatory i don't have to identify the equivalent v okay but i have to find and identify the equivalent i okay and you have to remember these things for circuits so uh, let's get, find out the value and let's find out the formula okay wh what is our focus my focus is to find out r 
okay now i am writing something and we know that is the formula mm, the formula is definitely uh, v is equals to ir okay that is our formula and i have to find out r only okay only r on the basis of r and i know one thing that my r is equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay so i can change something i is equals to v by r can i do this yes of course i can do this okay now i have to find identify the value of r only one thing i have to identify that is r and that is for rp rp for parallel okay i am doing this for parallel so i am writing i1 is equals to v upon r1 okay r1 we know that is r1 r2 r3 plus v upon r2 plus v upon r3 okay that is the value of uh, my current okay now i can cancel out this okay i can cancel out this okay and if i want uh, i want to take uh, uh, the value of i okay the value of i then the value of i is again v by r okay so if i don't cancel out suppose okay i can write i is equals to i is equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay in k place of i i can put v upon r okay we i know this okay that is r p for parallel because i'm doing this for parallel okay for r1 i can write v upon r1 for i2 i can write v upon r2 and for i3 i can write v upon r3 okay now i can cancel out these three things why should i cancel out because v is same all over okay now i can write one upon rp is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 okay these are the formulas okay so this is my formula for parallel resistance so let's write r resistance how should i find out the resistance for parallel i have to write down this that is 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 okay so you can whenever you are provided with particulars uh, okay definitely you are not going to ask with derivations definitely this is my derivation i did derivation here that how, how i am doing so definitely there is least chances that you are going to ask with uh, this question uh, derivations you just need to remember the formula that what should i use for parallel and what should i use for series one more thing i want to tell you that uh some type of question will uh, come okay questions like uh, uh two circuits are in uh, this is in series okay find out the equivalent resistance okay now another type of question okay three it is given in three okay uh, now uh two one is in series and two in in parallel then find out okay definitely we are going to do this and all three are in parallel okay this type of question can be asked okay so you have to find out the value definitely but one one thing you have to uh, remember okay you have to you should be provided with these all these two are in all these three are in series now here one these two are in uh, series and these two are in parallel so uh this and these all three are in parallel okay now uh, you have to remember one thing that as it is going to parallel as it is going to parallel the resistance is decreasing remember parallel okay r okay that is not a formula for sure that is not that is not a formula okay uh, but remember that as much as you will go to parallel side the resistance is decreasing okay this is not a formula i don't think this is a formula I, i'm just going to tell you okay uh, i'm just uh, trying to make you understand that what is the relation between parallel and so as you go to parallel go to parallel side more okay then resistance will be decreasing
remember okay uh, so uh, more so parallel is having very 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 least resistance parallel circuit very least power okay parallel circuit is having very least resistance so this is our formula and the basis of this type of formula we have to do some numerical so definitely we will do a numerical okay and that is my numerical i have a photo of this numerical come 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 i think i have deleted this no yeah this is uh, the numerical and we are having two numerical so first of all uh, okay let's do it okay i am getting back in 20 seconds just uh, switching on my charger <laughs> yeah so this type of questions are very common in our examinations that find out the equivalent resistance okay it is asking me to find out the equivalent resistance and the values are given uh, so i'm writing this uh, values okay you can see the r1 r1 that is r2 okay and r3 okay the intermediate is r4 and that is r5 okay so i'm just telling you maybe you can see this if you are not then okay so the values are provided r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 okay the values are provided me in our textbook so r1 is 10 ohm okay and uh, r2 is 40 ohm you most of you did a mistake in your test that uh, Uh, you know the value of r is uh, the sign of r is ohm okay that is the si unit so if you are going to find out resistance then you have to write the ohm okay otherwise the examiner will cut your marks 30 ohm and that is 20 ohm okay and uh, that is 60 ohm okay that is the value this is very simple question maybe the readings can uh, threaten you that uh, it is this and this is this okay so it is very simple now remember that just i'm giving you just an idea that anything with any resistance which is having lower value okay is consuming less electron okay it is having less resistance that's why it is consuming less electrons okay now uh, it is asking me to find out uh, total resistance okay and total current okay and uh, voltage Uh, which is provided to me that is 12 v is 12 okay now it is asking me to find out the total resistance okay this is given value this is given to me okay and i have to find out what should i found find out it is asking me to find out the total resistance okay and it is asking me to find out uh, i okay now the total resistance or total r i should say that is it is uh, that is uh, equivalent resistance okay equivalent because equivalent l okay because uh, that this is l okay because i have to join r1 r2 r3 r4 and i5 r5 to get something okay now i have to do something very uh, um, easy okay that i can see that these two are in parallel and i can see that these three are in parallel okay so what should i do first of all join them with parallel okay so first of all i'm going to join this with parallel so i'm going to do a parallel work with parallel so this is my formula for doing things parallel and i'm writing this so for r1 and r2 okay 
for R1 and R2. Okay, they both are in parallel. So one upon R P is equals to one upon R1 plus one upon R2. Okay, so one upon R P is equals to one upon R1 is equals to one upon 10 ohm, and that is one upon 40 ohm. Okay, and when I will solve this, okay, I'm doing this here. 1 upon Rp is equals to, I have to take LCM and all these things. Okay, so I'm taking LCM that will be 40 and it will be 4 plus 1. Okay, tell me if I'm doing any numerical mistake because I'm doing just things directly. That is 5 upon 40. Okay, now 1 upon Rp that is 5 upon 40. Now I'm not bounded with anything. I can reciprocate this for sure. Okay, that will be 40 upon 5. Okay, so that will be, I will cut this. Okay, and there is no value of 1. So it will be Rp is equals to 8. Okay, for my this thing. Okay, so equivalent resistance for this first batch, that is for R1 and R2, because these two are in parallel, you can see. Okay, so it will be 8. Okay, now I'm going for second thing. Okay, that is my second thing. And this is my second thing. And I have to find out the equivalent resistance for R3, R4, and R5. Okay. And because these three in are in parallel again, so I have to use the formula of parallel. That will be 1 upon R, uh, R3 plus 1 upon R4 plus 1 upon R5. Okay. And I have to write the values. The values are 1 upon 30 plus... 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 60. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. And that is 1 upon RP. Okay, so 1 upon RP and I have to take LCM. So 30, 60, I will take 60. Uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1, that will be 6 upon 60. So 1 upon RP is equals to 6 upon 60. Now I can reciprocate them. That is RP upon 1 is equals to 60 upon 6. Okay, and when I will cut them, it will be 10. So my RP is equals to 10. Okay. So the value of this is, uh, what was the value? Yeah, 8. Okay, that is 8 and that is 10. Okay. Now, uh, I have to draw this again. Okay, I have to draw this again. What should I do in drawing this? Okay. Uh, now the value is 8 of this. Okay, and here the value of entire this is 8 and the value is of this resistance is 12. Okay, and this is A meter. Okay, now this is my rebuild. Okay, and this is how it, it looks originally, how it will look originally. Okay, now you can see that uh, these two are in series circuit. You can see that these two are in series. Okay, because they are in series. Okay. Nothing one is above and nothing one is below because if I will uh, open the circuit like this, okay, I will found that. Okay, if I will open just, so I will found that, okay, it will be 8 and it will be 12. Okay, so this is in series now. So I have to take the series here and I have to find out the value of this and I have to find out the value of this. Okay, so I will take R series and what is the formula of series? In series, you have to take another method and in series, we are doing this with this pattern, R1, R2, R3, and I'm going to do this. So this will be R, okay, I can name it to A or B, R, A, and R, B. Okay, because they are at new value. Okay, so it is R, A plus R, B. Okay, and R, S is equals to 8 plus 10, so RS will be 18 ohm. Okay, so the value of whole circuit is actually 18 ohm. Okay, whole. Now it is again asking me to find out the resistance. Okay, and as it is in series, sorry, current. Okay, it is asking me to find out the equivalent. It is asking me to find out the I also. Okay, now my answer is that it is in series. Okay, you can see that it is finally it is in series. Okay, so in series, if I go to series, if I go to series, 
the current will be same at all point okay so i can find out the current and it will be same so i have to find out the value of current and the value of current is v by r so i and value of v is provided to us as i mentioned you that is 12 and r is 18 okay so whatever the value is coming uh, the value will be uh, for approximately 6 point something okay ampere so this is how i can find out and this is how i can do my question so we have to work on it more 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 okay now we are having another numerical uh, that is based on this okay uh, this is a numerical and it is very simple depending upon the series but uh, before doing the numerical okay tell me are you able to understand this tell me fazan beta are you able to understand this what i am doing actually okay so your marks will show how much you understood okay your marks will show me that how much you understood not the, the, the this test marks okay the test uh, you are giving in your schools it will uh, show me that how much you understanding okay so what we did okay uh, you can be asked with different type of problems okay there will be different type of problems depending on this but you have to just find out the value of parallel resistance so there are so many different type of question depending upon this and we will practice this question so much uh, just finishing our syllabus we'll practice so much hundreds of questions and i will send you some of the questions uh, on um, our pdf i will definitely i will send you solved questions so okay not just example solved questions so you can practice by your own and after that we will practice online okay also okay now uh, before uh, doing uh, another numerical uh, i want to tell you very much important thing that uh, as we know that we are having only two type of circuit first is series and uh, second is uh, parallel okay now uh, which circuit is good okay or this one yeah we know that parallel is good everyone know okay and our house hold is having this type of circuit electron will pass okay now as electron will pass okay so what happens suppose this is my bulb this is my tv this is my refrigerator and this is fan okay uh this is bulb this is tv this is the refrigerator okay and this is fan okay now electrons are going okay now uh electrons are going and they are having only one path okay and now in this case you can see that electrons will have this path okay so generally we say that which circuit is good okay so generally we say that uh, series is not good type of arrangement i am not crossing it okay it is not bad but it is not good not good okay and it is parallel is very good okay why it is very good suppose uh, if uh, uh, we have a parallel type of arrangement in our house is okay and each and every one should place their arrangement like we are having so many appliances so in parallel why so because this is series okay and if one if there is problem in this one pathway okay if there is anything can be there could be short circuit okay i didn't tell you about short circuit because it is removed from our syllabus so if i will have time enough time uh then i will definitely tell you that what is short circuit and what is overloading okay because this is very interesting things so short suppose there will be any problem okay with this wiring okay so this pathway will be broken okay and electrons cannot go to this side okay electrons cannot go okay electrons have to stay here because there is one problem so all the appliances may not work because the less supply of electricity okay maybe electrons will cover this one okay and the electrons there will be a problem in this pathway the tv the there will problem short circuit in tv or any any type of problem in uh, tv so only bulb will glow okay and rest of the things will not glow or not work okay now suppose if this will happen then the rest will go 
off okay it cannot work but in this type of thing okay if one thing is not working then is there is no problem because you can see the pathway okay electrons can go to the another lines okay in this case there is only a single line and if one there is a blockage in in this uh, single line anywhere if there is a blockage it can be here it can be here it can be here okay so all the appliances will not work if one appliance is not working then another will definitely not work because electrons can't, can go out or there is only one pathway okay but here you can see there are so many pathway one two three four okay so if there is problem here then there is no problem in another two pathways okay next thing okay next thing is okay. if there is problem in this pathway okay then the bulb will glow then the tv will uh, the refrigerator work and the fan will work okay now if there is problem in this one okay all three will work okay if there is in problem in this one okay then the two will work okay that's why the parallel is very good type of uh, arrangement and we have to use it and uh, if we are doing with parallel then we have to put voltmeter in uh, my board meter should be placed in parallel, whatever type of pathway you are using. Okay. So there is an example in our book that uh, you have seen the fairy lights, maybe. Okay, you have seen the fairy lights. Okay, that fairy lights are very beautiful and sometimes we uh, light in our houses to look uh, the house beautiful, okay, for celebrations. Okay, you have seen these fairy lights. Okay, there are so many fairy lights. So actually these fairy lights, okay, they are multiple color type, multiple color of, uh, there are multiple colors in fairy lights. Okay, and they just blink. You have seen so many times. Okay, it looks amazingly beautiful. So generally they are in series. Okay, and if one will go, okay, if one will go, the rest will be go. Okay, if one is not working, then another rest will be not working. Okay, so these type of fairy lights. Okay, it is not about fairy lights. It's, it is about the type of uh, circuit which is arranged. Okay, it is just about type of the circuit which is arranged. So, this the fairy lights which are arranged in series circuit. Fairy lights are arranged in series type of thing. So, there is a huge, huge, huge problem and, uh, you know, uh, uh, electrician have to find out that what is the basic, where is the basic problem because, you know, it is not written that that is the problem. Okay, it have to examine each and every bulb, each and every bulb that is it gone, is it gone, is it gone, is it gone. Okay, but what happened if it is in parallel? Okay, if one is gone, okay, then all the rest of lights are working. Why? Because they are having very separate pathway. Yeah, very good. Only the damaged one will be off in parallel. Okay, this is my parallel. Only the damage one will off. Otherwise, every because you know you can see the difference in working. You can see how how there is a common pathway of electrons to go. Okay, and if this is the hurdle, electrons cannot go. But but in this case, okay, that is a separate pathway. Okay, and electrons are free. Only electrons will only the one which is gone is not working. So this is the beauty. This is the goodness of uh, parallel and. Uh, a, a series difference between them okay uh, now next thing yeah uh, now uh, we are going to do a numerical but before doing a numerical I don't know how much time is left so uh, we will go do a numerical but uh, right now I'm just telling you about the heating effect of current or should I do numerical? Yeah, I'm having 10 minutes. Meeting will not close. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, meeting will not, not close because you are the only participant today. Yeah, okay. So let's go for this numerical. Okay, this is example 12.7. 
from our textbook okay and uh, definitely you are having this maybe you are able to see this miniature okay just very tiny so first of all i'm uh, doing a reading and you know don't think extra about numerical just focus on one thing that what is given and what should i find okay so it is uh, telling me an electric lamp okay this is my lamp and definitely it is my resistance i know this because it consumes electron okay so electric lamp whose resistance is 20 ohm now what is given to me i have to find out okay it is giving me resistance okay my resistance is 20 ohm okay uh and a conductor okay that is a conductor and it is also a resistance so my resistance one is this okay that is a lamp and another one is a conductor that is 4 ohm okay now it is asking me uh, yeah it is also telling me about bat uh, battery that is 6 volt okay write down here so that easy for me to find okay now calculate the total resistance total resistance okay what is what should i have to find total r okay and one more thing that both of them are in series very good news okay you can see both of them are in series very good news i don't have to struggle so much in this question and i have to find out total r okay and second b is current through the circuit i have to find out the current okay that is i now this is series so if i am finding one i i don't have to struggle to find out two i's okay definitely there will be one i for each and every point and potential difference okay now i have to find out two potential difference i am writing here only one is sufficient for me and third thing that is potential difference it is asking me that is v okay it is asking me to find out v for each and every case okay this v is common okay i have to find out v1 here sorry v1 here and v2 here okay this is common v and i have to find out 2v for both r okay so i have to find out v1 and i have to find out v2 okay and total r so let's get started that is not a very difficult question okay so first of all i have to find out total r okay so i have to find out r now i know that this is in series so i don't have to work so much and i will go like this r1 plus r2 because this is my formula and r s is equals to what is the value of r1 that is 20 ohm which is of that lamp and this is for a conductor or wire okay and r s will be 24 ohm okay so this is my equivalent resistance actually okay now second thing it is asking me to do find out the current now i have to find out current because it will be one i here and it will be i here okay no i1 i2 because this is series so i don't have to find out two values okay so i am going to find out the current and what is the value of current that is v upon r okay now i have to take a simple r i don't need to take different r okay suppose it 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 can be a parallel thing okay it can be a parallel thing so you have to take separate arts r1 and r2 okay you have uh, you have very good idea of this relation okay you have idea of this relation okay that i1 r1 i2 r2 and i3 r3 with series okay we will be same and for parallel sorry with parallel it is with parallel sorry it is with parallel okay and for series the relation is v1 r1 v2 r2 and v3 r3 okay so you know that what should you do where should you apply your mind that is my question yeah okay so i am using b by r uh, i okay i'm just have i have to find out so my v is 6 volt it is given to me 
okay and r is common r definitely that is 24 ohm so my i will be 0.25 ampere okay so i have to find out a common i with the common value what does it mean that the value of v uh, is given 6 volt to me okay it is given 6 volt to me this is common for both and why i am using this i why i am not using v1 and v2 because first of all i am not provided it with v1 and v2 i have to identify this okay and second suppose if you are given with this then uh, you have to go with common v why because r is i is same all over so i have to find only one i that will be sufficient for whole circuit because this is a series type of thing okay so uh, and you don't need to work so hard and you don't need to think so much because the things will be provided in such a particular specific meaning that uh, in this, in this way okay that as it is given me uh, v previously okay that is so i don't have to think that what is v1 and what is v2 should i find out i1 or i2 but that will be common i for both things okay and the last thing it is going me to it is asking me that i should find v1 and v2 separately okay so i have to use v1 and v2 and for v1 and v2 uh, i have to use formulas and what is the formula of v that is ir okay now i have to use r1 and r2 to find out v1 and v2 okay why so because you know there is a relation why i don't took just r because there is a relationship there is a relationship you can see v3 r3 v2 r2 v1 r1 which type of circuit series so you cannot remove the relationship anywhere you have to take care of these relationship each and every time that's why i'm doing this okay so value of v1 is equals to you as we know i is common and that will be 0.25 into r1 the value of r1 is 20 ohm okay and the v1 will be 1 volt okay and for v2 uh, the value of i is 0.25 ampere and r2 is 4 ohm so my v2 will be 24 ohm okay so i have to find out two type of v it is asking me to find out v okay it is asking me to find out v and i have to find out the two values of v okay so this is how uh, we can find out and it is very simple type of question and don't overthink that what when should i find out i and v it will be provided to you and that is the texture of a question that if you have done one or two type of question previously then you can answer this in your board examination because the question uh, will is designed in such a manner to not uh, uh, to not make it difficult for you okay it is just about your understanding so you can do this and don't forget the relationship and if if I would be doing with parallel, okay. If it was parallel, okay, what should I do? Then I have to take care of the relation of I1, R1, I2, R2, and I3 and R3. That should be the relationship if I'm going with parallel. Okay, so uh, right now I'm finishing my class because Zalia is not present today. She's having some problem with electricity at her home. So I'm finishing my class five minutes before original time okay so we will be meeting tomorrow and if you have having any and just better try to do so much questions okay you are having so much questions in your book you can do it on yourself because you know it is not possible for me to do each and every question here at least before completion of our syllabus and once the syllabus will complete okay i will go for maximum and maximum numericals and maximum examples okay but try to do it just by yourself okay so that as you can also do it by yourself okay so uh, your homework is that is example number 12.7 from your book and do it by yourself okay don't uh, i yeah, it's your honesty okay how you do so just do it by yourself so this is your homework if it will be wrong then do, no problem if it is wrong okay homework example number 12.7 from chapter electricity page number 212 okay do it by yourself okay i'm finishing my class and we will be meeting on tomorrow